What's up? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below to part of the channel. Thank you. So here I have a boy or past video for the HasLab Ghost Rider Engine of Vengeance from Hasbro that was revealed yesterday. This is an item that I have to say I'm not interested in even if I could purchase it. Now what I mean by that is I'm based in Ireland along with an awful lot of other people around the world that cannot access nor buy this item if they wanted to because Hasbro in their infinite wisdom have decided to limit this to Canada, the USA, the UK and Germany. What a stupid decision but what's happening is the people in those territories are paying the price. They're paying $350, £350, €350 Euro because Hasbro have decided to limit this item to those territories. What a silly decision from this company. Yet you'll still also have apologists and shills that are out there that will say €350 Euro and £350 and $350 is totally worth it for this. I don't know what you're doing but... To me, when you look at what Mattel have done with the Ultimate Batmobile, which I'll leave a clip at the end of this video of, that's a remote control car that's very large, that has Gatling guns, that has lights and sounds. It also has a smoking exhaust and it actually can move itself up and down. It's an incredible piece and that was less than what this item is. Just think about that. And to me, that's what you have to gauge things on. You have to say, well, there's an item that's over there that's much superior to this one here and this is inferior and yet people are saying oh that's totally worth $350 I totally disagree now that's not to say I'm telling you what to do with your money you do whatever you like and 3,324 people have already backed this item so clearly there's a lot of support here for this item way more support than the Star Wars Reva lightsaber anyway but to me going through it I'm going to say to you why I would pass on it even if it was available to me so first off the price the price is not good 350 euros if i was to buy it is way above what i would be expecting to pay for this i think if this was sitting in around the 250 mark that would be fair enough considering it's not a remote control car and considering they're saying there's going to be no bikes in this set so if you're looking forward to danny catch with a motorcycle you're not going to get it in this set is that ruling out carter slide with the horse ghost rider i don't think so i think it could perhaps be in this but they did talk about demons being included in this set and i have to say what a shady piece of practice that you're saying from hasbro when they're teasing mephisto knowing that an awful lot of people want mephisto and he's going to be a crown in their collection for them because a lot of people have wanted it for a long time and this is what they do i think the forced unlock looks like a changing robbie head so we've seen that with johnny blaze already and we're starting to see it now i think with some of the practices hasbro are doing which is minimal releases and that's conning people out of money and indeed making them double dip on certain figures when you look at this figure first and foremost it looks okay i think the build looks decent but the first thing that i noticed was no butterfly joints here that's a huge missed opportunity considering they were talking about this being an all new mold I also think the way that the articulation is cut into it here, particularly here at the waist, looks bad because when that's torn, it gives off this really unsightly gap that just looks very poor. And I can't believe that Hasbro is still doing this, considering when G.I. Joe and Power Rangers have fixed that look very much so for their figures. Also, it doesn't seem like it comes with fisted hands. This is a character that's known for punching things along with using weaponry. I can understand open hands for that, but not having punching hands, not having fists is a ridiculous thing to do, particularly with a character that's known for that. We'll then move on and have a look. The car, as I said, there's remote control cars that are out there that are far less, that are far more detailed and even come with lights and sounds. To me, when you're paying $350 for this and this being the baseline figure that you're getting along with the car and then they're talking about more 6-inch figures coming along with this, I don't know how they're bulking up that $350 price. I really don't. You look at this car, it looks all right. There's no sounds with this car. That was the first thing that I noticed. The lights look okay. I think they said in the stream about 20 LEDs that are in it. That was to be expected. Everybody... I mean, I even did a video there saying about the HasLab Ghost Rider being a good idea and what they could include with it, but they've decided to strip this back to the bare minimum of just lights. The fact that this doesn't have any sounds is really poor to me in my view. Looking at the car, this is going to have a transparent grille, so it's going to look a lot better as a finished product. This looks okay. It looks okay. That's what I just want to say. It does look okay. And as they were saying in the stream, they were more focused on shelf space. So I know that there's people that are going to say, well, Ninja Knight, it's going to be a car that we're going to have a display piece. 
of but to me i would rather have the option of having it being display piece along with the option of it being a remote control car that's where i'd stand on that to be quite honest the car looks okay is what i'll say it looks all right it looks okay it's not blowing me away and i think an awful lot of people that are out there that are car enthusiasts are saying it doesn't look that much like a dodge challenger and the fact that they have renamed this has lab somewhat from what it's actually called in the comics i think says an awful lot maybe they wanted to step away from it and do their own thing a little bit with it so that it's not quite attributed to the comics as such but to me that would make no sense because then they bring in the creator and the artist for it so it's weird stuff that we're seeing with regards to marvel legends and like i said you've got a lot of shields and apologists that are out there now that are trying to talk people into it and say oh this is great we we'll never get this again but to me you're setting a standard and you're setting a precedent if you back something like this that you're saying looks okay and giving them the money for that it just lets them off the hook then in future like i said no fists coming with this figure that should be an absolute requirement and it doesn't look like any fists are going to come in the future so what you could see then is another release of robbie reyes ghost rider in the future with fisted hands you know what i'm saying so these are the type of things that they're doing now now they're doing it under the pretense by the way that oh we need to make as much money as possible and that's why we're seeing a dramatic increase in the figures they're over 30 euro here now in ireland whereas the mcfarland figures have still remained at 25 euro and they are a larger figure you know it's going to come to a point in time i think that a lot of people are going to shift their attention and their collections towards mcfarland and it might come to a point in time where mcfarland might get the marvel license because i think that these guys are playing a very silly game with marvel legends at the moment they think that an awful lot of people are just going to buy this regardless but there's been an overwhelming majority of people in the marvel legends groups that are totally unhappy with this they're unhappy with the price they're unhappy with the tears so far and the prospect of tears that they might get like mephisto was really angering fans and rightfully so because that's a major character in the marvel universe and you're putting them basically behind the paywall here like again like i said that's a very silly thing to do Moving on and having a look at it here, it looks like a decent figure. Like I said, the lack of butterfly joints really hurt this figure. And I think this unsightly gap that you're going to see when the waist is torn with the hip, it looks really poor to me. And it's something that they need to look after in future. To me, when you see that other people were talking about, say, even the Mammoth Ghost Rider, Carter Slade Ghost Rider, these are all good ideas to have added into this project. That's not to say that they might not add these into the project definitely not the mammoth one that's definitely not coming for sure with the carter slide one with the horse i would love to see further excuses from the marvel legends team as to why they couldn't put that out especially when you look at what todd mcfarland is doing and the vehicles that he's putting out for the price that he's putting them out for it's really putting hasbro to shame and i think that that's going to be a big problem for them in the future i mean if this was run by todd mcfarland it would be an awful lot better in my view and I think that's going to be something people might call for in the next couple of years. They might want the license away from Hasbro because they're seeing the decline in quality, the decline in quality control. This wanting to go behind plasticless packaging. Like this is a major error that they've made. And here's another error that they've made in my view, which is if you're going to add a number of Robbie Reyes Ghost Riders to this set as such, you should have had a figure that had a light up head in its entirety because you put a light behind the head in the headrest that lights up this part for sure but it doesn't light up this part here so he looks like super mario or even dr robotnik here with this weird looking mustache coming out of his face like to have no forethought in putting a led into the head so that it would all illuminate is staggering to me and then to put it into the headrest where it's going to compromise the look of the headrest and also then you have electronics running through it to just put an led into it is very very silly indeed and like i said you've got mattel which i'll add the clip at the end of this video to who have done a much more superior car and with an ip like batman at a lower price so to me i think people's eyes are being wiped with this here it's getting the support which i think it will and i think it will make the funding goal i think the stretch goals for sure are probably going to get it over the line do i think it should happen and do i think people should withhold from this i think yeah that's what i'd like to see is it realistic though no me personally i'm not backing it that's just my opinion on it let me know in the comments below if you're backing it let me know in the comments below why you're backing it let me know in the comments below if you're not backing it and why you're not backing it 
these are things that I would love to hear and I'd love to hear from the community because what I'm seeing in different groups at the moment is a lot of animosity and an awful lot of people there that are saying that they'll throw $350 at this or £350. It's €419 Euros actually in Germany and that's when I'm saying about $350 by the way, that's before tax and shipping so it's going over the 400 mark there too. Not quite sure about the UK but You've got people that are out there that are saying, yeah, they'll absolutely spend the money on this and are laughing at other collectors. And if that's your prerogative and that's what you want to do when you want to have a laugh at that, sure, fine. But what's happening here, as I've said before with these Haslabs, is there seems to be a very suspect thing that's happening, which is you're getting these Haslabs like the Unicron one that, in my opinion, was false advertising because the end results didn't look like what they had been promoting for a long time. It got the Sentinel that had very weak knees. Things remain to be seen on Haslab Galactus. And I think they're being very clever by looking for this to be backed before Galactus is released. Because as we all know, with the problems with the Sentinel, that's why Galactus, they kind of panicked on, I think, towards the end. And didn't think that that was going to make the funding. But it ended up making that funding. To me, a massive company like Hasbro, doing a Kickstarter for a character like this, and giving you what is to me the bare minimum just lights no sounds and very minimal accessories here for 350 dollars that's now upwards of 400 it's upwards of 400 euros i don't think that that's a good precedent to be setting and i don't think it's a good precedent to be setting for yourself and future collectors because we're already at the 30 euro mark for a normal standard figure like it's a bad road you're going down excuse the pun anyway i'll leave you with the ultimate batmobile from mattel and you'll see the quality of that and you'll see how much more impressive that is rather than this here gonna leave it there make sure you like share subscribe hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below part channel talk to you later look so hi everybody we are at comic con live from the mattel booth this is our ultimate justice league batmobile this is our rc vehicle that's larger than life uh, it connects to my phone through wi-fi signal and then I'll be able to drive it through the dedicated app that comes with it. It has a ton of amazing features. It's a fully you know, RC vehicle, so you can turn your wheels and the guns are following the same movement. You can actually uh, also make uh, the guns rotate. The smoke that actually comes out of it. It also has hydraulics, so you can elevate the vehicle. And it has a huge cannon. And it comes with this exclusive figure which has an extra articulation, so Batman actually steers the wheel. If you just clip his hand to the steering wheel, his arm will move. So he looks like he's alive.